America, how are we doing today? We're at ground zero. Ground zero of what? Well, that's that's what you're getting ready to find out. Hello America, how are we doing today? We are in West Texas. Uh, not the region of West Texas, uh, well, way out yonder is West Texas. Uh, we're in West Texas, the town of West Texas. Uh, where's that at? Central Texas. <laughs> we're in Central Texas in a town of West Texas. Uh, it's um, on I-35, just about an hour, a little over an hour south of Dallas. Um, uh, you know where I-35 comes through Dallas, and I-35E and I-35W, and where they come together just south of Dallas is the town of Hillsboro. We're about 10 or 15 miles south of that. All right, now, back in 2013, I was driving along on the, on the highway. I was in West Texas. Uh, no, not here, West Texas. I was in West Texas, driving along on my way to California, and I was on the phone with Pam, and we were just chatting, and uh, we're sitting there talking, and all of a sudden, Boom. And she goes, what was that? She's like, man, something just went boom. So we're thinking maybe a car wreck down the road somewhere, you know, some, who knows, I, something. And uh, at that time, we were having a lot of uh, earthquakes around here too. Well, I don't know, because of the fracking, I don't know. But they, there were some small earthquake, you know, tremor type things around here too. Kind of thought maybe that's what it was. Well, I get off the phone with her about 10, 15 minutes later, and I get to listen to the radio, and the news came on talking about West Texas explosion. What? Well, they didn't know what happened. They just knew there was a big explosion and it was down in West Texas. And they were thinking some kind of like terrorist bombing and stuff, you know, kind of like the Oklahoma City deal. And uh, so that's where they kind of went with it at first. And then kind of find out, no, it was a chemical factory that blew up. Now well, then I thought, I left it at that. I thought that's what it was, it was a chemical factory blew up. And kind of find out it wasn't a chemical factory, it was a farm supply retail store a retail outlet it's where farmers would come in and buy their their seed wheat you know their seed seed wheat seed corn uh, seed cotton you know all the different seeds for the crops and everything and they would buy different kinds of fertilizer and uh, um, uh, supplements to put on, on their crops okay well uh, they happen to have they the best guess that somewhere between 40 and 60 tons it's a lot 40 and 60 tons, 4260 tons of ammonium nitrate. Well, that's the same stuff that was used in Oklahoma City in, in, in the McVeigh bombing. It's a, yeah, it's bad stuff. I mean, <laughs> you wouldn't think fertilizer, you know, but anyway. So uh, apparently a fire caught, uh, uh, broke out in the, in the building. And as it got bigger and bigger, there was a, there's a bit of a breeze today, but that day was a good south breeze. It was springtime in Texas, and the wind always blows out of the south. It's bringing warm air north for the spring. So the wind's always out of the south, and it's blowing, and it was blowing pretty hard heading north. Well, it just fueled the fire, and it got out of control real fast. And where the fire started in the building, the ammonium nitrate was stored just north of that, so the flames were going toward it. And it kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Well, they, they were out here putting some water on it, but it just, you know, was getting away from them and the, the fire fertilizer exploded and wiped, uh, wiped a lot of stuff out. So we're going to look here on the drone it is over here on the other side of the railroad tracks. There's uh, a big field and there's an apartment complex that was over there and it, it tore the apartment complex all to heck. It just, it just d destroyed it. And that's where three of the civilians died. Now there, now there was 15 people died. 12 of them were right here where I'm standing. Um, they were the firefighters. The volunteer fire department was out here. And 12 of them died in the blast. And over in that apartment complex, some people were standing out looking at it, and they got uh, killed too. Okay. So, um, yeah, 15 people total. So it was a bad day. It was a bad day for West. As you can see, all these houses down through here are, have been rebuilt. Uh, they're all brick homes and everything. I guess in the uh, in the uh, explosion, it damaged a lot of them, tore the roofs and things, just like almost like a tornado. And um, um, a lot of them probably cracked the foundation, kind of stuff. You know, brick homes they take a shock, they get cracks in it and stuff. So a lot of these houses were probably replaced because of that. Uh, some of them were completely destroyed. Some were just mildly damaged. 
but uh, and you can still see there's a few empty lots there's an empty lot and right over here is another empty lot and uh, going back on uh, Google Earth their street view you can go back through time and look at old videos or old, old photos from Google Earth and right here you'll see a couple of uh, highway patrol officers patrolling up and down I would imagine that was right after the explosion and they're kind of keeping an eye for like looting you know people coming over stealing stuff so uh, yeah it was quite a quite a little event I mean for a small town even for a big city this would be quite of an event so for a uh, for a small town this is kind of a I don't know life-changing event for the whole t whole city I guess you know um, this would be the location from where the uh, video was taken one of the videos was taken from right here and uh, in the car they were standing right here and you can see the mirror and everything and this is the one where the little girl was going crazy you know I can't hear I can't hear I can't hear So I want to get out and show you another spot right up over here where another guy was uh, filming. Ah, so we're getting out walking over here. This has been the same parking lot. There would have been a building here. I don't know what building this was. I thought the, the, the local cop, he told me this was the bus barn, but it didn't look like a bus barn to me. It looked like maybe a, a maintenance building or something like that. I'm not sure. But this would have been the parking lot. There would have been the building right around in here. And that's the level area where the building was. And this would have been about where this second video was taken with the dumpster. The dumpster would have been sitting about right here. Right over there is where the explosion was. And he would have been standing about where I'm at right now. And if you look on the, on the uh, Google Earth, I measured it out. And this is like 400 feet away from the explosion. But can you imagine that? Can you imagine being that close to that big of an explosion? Make your teeth chatter. So I got into town here and was driving around just trying to familiarize myself with the stuff. I've done a little research on the internet and everything. And, and uh, I come across the local, uh, there's a memorial over here. If you just look, there's a, a playground over here. And just on the north side of that playground, there's a memorial to the people that died. So I wanted, I wanted to go over and look at that, check that all out. And there was a local local policeman sitting there. So I stopped and talked to him a little bit. And we kind of just rehashed all the things I'd kind of learned already about it. And then he was sitting there telling me about the railroad, you know, how they had a hard time getting the railroad through here after the, after the blast. And I'm like, what do you mean the railroad coming through? And he goes, you know, just knock some stuff off the track. And he goes, no, the tracks were moved what he says the railroad rails the track rails were moved eight feet over they were just you know broken loose and moved over eight feet uh, the the east rail was actually touching the west rail and they had moved over and pushed and so they had to come in I, I guess within a couple of just a few days they had the railroad back up and running because it's the main main line and uh, the longer that's out the more money is lost by the railroad so I imagine there were some heads you know being knocked there you know uh, uh, you know, locking heads there because the uh, crash invest or the accident investigators were probably wanting to keep the place pristine, and here the railroad wants to come through and repair their tracks. So <laughs> I imagine there's some people locking heads on that. But anyway, uh, so yeah, the West Texas, uh, it, it's the uh, site of a, a big, big explosion, and uh, several people died right on there was 12 people died right on this spot and uh, they were all the firefighters the volunteer firefighters and uh, I asked if one of the yeah I asked the cop if one of the uh, any of the police officers got killed or hurt or anything he says no they they were standing back far enough away they didn't didn't uh, didn't suffer but uh, all right so what else is uh, what else is West Texas known for they're known for kolaches. <laughs> uh, out on the interstate, there's a little little place called uh, the West 
West Texas Bakery, I think. Uh, anyway, they make some wonderful kolaches. So I think I'm going to run over there and uh, grab some kolaches. And we're going to head down to another another uh, thing just right down the road from here. There's another one for tomorrow's video, or well, next the next video anyway. So we'll see you then, okay? Thank you.